Hey, Max here. So, it is a great day for the Steelers theme team and therefore America. Troy Palamalu is coming on his way tomorrow, and that means the rest of us are also coming over to Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. So, Palamalu. 89 speed, 90 zone, 90 hit power, and 91 pursuit tackling. Now, I don't know necessarily that I want Troy Palamalu deep for me, right? With the amount of spec catches happening in this game, it's awful. But you can jump quite a distance in this game if you have it, like, lined up. Like, if you're facing the ball. I think, like, running back towards the ball, you don't really get jumps this year. Uh, but I feel like if you're facing it, you, you do jump. So... Palomalo here with 90 zone stock is really nice because, you know, a better chance of knocking it out. Um, it also reacts better to the ball. Uh, so, like, I love it, right? Obviously, Palomalo in the last couple Maddens has been, you know, it's tough because height has mattered so much these last couple years due to the face catching and everything going on. And this year, it is so bad. It was so, so bad. Probably the worst we've seen since 16. Uh, it's like Madden 16 and Madden 15 combined with aggressive catch and face catching in the game at the same time. This is about as bad as we've seen spec catching in Madden that I can remember. But so, like, height is really key. And we'll test out Palomalo tomorrow on stream, as is tradition. Uh, we also got the other Madden 10 card. Now, Palomalo also has Madden 10 card art uh, that we don't see here in the, the subreddit. Thanks to Scramble. Appreciate you. No, I really do thank you for uh, posting this stuff. It's nice to have it all in one location. Um, 88 speed on Fitz is highly competitive, too. Right, whether whether we get like the legend theme team might be usable this weekend with a plus one speed. Otherwise, we do have um, you know just theme team straight up to get extra speed. But uh, it's too bad we're a little short on the route running. But he does get ninety deep route running, so he could potentially burn some dudes on the deeper cuts. Those cuts that happen after twenty yards. I don't recall like what routes that would be. Z routes are solid. Those probably get over twenty yards and stuff um c routes i don't know if the second break is over or under 20 yards and a lot of them is the, you know they're so varied but fitz looks also incredible okay so we also have house rules but i look through chandler jones a limited tomorrow there are gonna be re-rolls so that's a big 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 knowledge thing right there are re-rolls plus he's got a incredible power move finesse move block shed speed solid too this chandler jones seems like an absolute demon out there right he's a right end power rusher he's gonna get edge threat for three ap so him and maybe, I don't know, whatever else you want to run, uh, uh, Chase Young off the other edge at left end with 3 AP uh, edge threat is going to be causing a lot of problems for quarterbacks here going forward. So Chandler, yeah, I, I think he'll be kind of expensive, probably close to like seven to 800K right away, depending on the reroll. If he's really cheap, the reroll is awesome, right? Remember Ricky Williams? Remember the Williams. And how terrible that roll was. I think we got a sample size of over 1,400 rolls without a single limited roll. So the potential Chandler Jones could be absolutely insanely rare too. So that's that's too bad. We're also getting cool house rules, right? And, and we're getting the 86 overall BND Julio Jones at 25 wins. They're actually changing house rules every day. First day, uh, let's see if I can't find it. Uh, popular stranger, what are the rules? Yeah, here it is. So... Thursday, rushing TDs are worth two tons of points. Friday, passing TDs are worth two tons of points. Saturday, rushing TDs are worth three tons of points, but they got it 10 yards plus. 20 plus yard passing TDs are worth three tons of points. So that's kind of neat. Five minute quarter starting in the fourth. Um, you know, a, a little bit longer of a house rules than, say, college overtime. And I thought college overtime was the best house rules that we've ever gotten. So, um, you know, everything's going to be stepped down from that. But, you know, it doesn't look too terrible. 25 wins. People might quit out on you quick. Um, we then have, I wanted to show the Julio. Where was the Julio at? Julio was somewhere. Oh, yeah, Julio, here he is. Now, let me show you in a second. These are Julio's base stats. Julio can be upgraded. A nice tall receiver. Gets a bunch of different theme teams, obviously. Titans theme team, Bucks, Falcons. So a lot of different things that can go on with uh, Julio here. Uh, but we also, if you look at the uh, the house rules rewards. Uh, no, 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 no. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Level three of the field pass reward. So we're getting a brand new field pass. You guys know what field passes are? It's like the most important thing in Mutt this year. You know, just view all new field passes. So much like we have the headliners field pass, as predicted, we're also getting a UK field pass. And it looks insane, right? I think they said 175,000 total XP in this field pass. So this will take me up. I'll be able to get Dave Casper. Like, I think once I get to like level eight or nine, I'll have David Casper on my account. So 
that is really cool um, to get like the best tight end along with this. So giving a ton more XP. Um, coins, obviously, is always a cool thing. Some packs, too. We got uh, Terran Armstead here. The 87 Terran Armstead. Does he have the... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like he has it. Um, yeah, it looks like he didn't tweet it. Let me see if I can't find Armstead image here on Twitter. I think I'll check out Metality, maybe. Metality... Armstead. Metality, I guess, had kind of, kind of a bit. I could have just gone to him. He's always a good resource. Armstead, low-ish run block, but good pass block, power, and finesse. The issue is, like, Armstead comes out of left tackle at, like, 87 pass block power, but Chandler Jones also comes out with 90 power moves. So it does feel like the Mutt team wants the pass rush to stay very effective this year, and they're releasing cards to keep it that way in order to keep defense balanced. I will say, I'm getting cooked lately on defense, right? During the man coverage meta, when I was, like, the only one running zone, I was shutting fools down. But now I've seen so many people shift over to nickel normal like myself that I'm, uh, you know, people are getting more experience against zone. You know, I, surprise match coverage isn't so surprised when they can expect it because they throw man beating routes out there too. Yeah, I, I, I'm i getting cooked, dudes. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, ultimate kickoff tomorrow. I think the rerolls mean a lot. The contender tokens, the boost. There's, so this is a two-part promo too. So there's, you know, this part two that we saw uh let me let me show it to you again on the experience on the field pass okay so there's contender token number two so that's going to be launching with you know house rules next week right we're getting new house rules every day and then next week i think they said it was yeah it was the 15th so next thursday so it's an entire week from the 8th to the 15th and the 15th we launch again and we'll probably get these like you know these levels on the second week we probably won't be able to get this much uh xp through solos and stuff um, until next week when we get the rest of it but yeah another cool 87 overall bnd uk player from release two so we're getting more players next thursday contended token to boost up whatever house rules is next week also and uh, the player card of that so overall uk kind of cool i think it's a pretty decent idea if you haven't already we've talked about it all week to prep for that role to prep for that limited and people demanding it to, to take a look and try and snipe training. I you know maybe training is up a little bit from where it was a couple days ago when I talked about those really good packs that were out that people were pulling that they, you know, that had quote unquote boosted odds or high odds and, and you know, cards kind of went down in price. 86s. I wonder what we could filter down 86s for. Because um, 86s, we're seeing them at 45K. Um, that's 21 per. So this morning we talked about this. I was getting things at like 19 per. Uh, let's take a look at 87s at 70. Uh, we're trying to get the like 87s like under 60 would be the dream, really. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and filter through, take a look at that. But that is really the promo. A ton of things on the way from a new field pass to rewards. I love it. Bye.